Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. It will not resonate, whoa, with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Sag placement that is important to you. Personal reading information is linked in the description box, as well as any jewelry seen, and as well as all the cards used. Towards the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. Your love specific reading is located as well in the description box. And the reading is aimed for the month of August, but time is elusive. If you're watching it, you're meant to watch it. Any time from now, any date from now, time is elusive. It's, it's not a real thing. Today, tomorrow, tomato, 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 you know, that type of thing. Two cards out. What else do we have for Sagittarius, please? These ones wanted to flip over. How many are there? Okay. All right. One more card for Sagittarius, please. Let's get the whole story going. What does Sagittarius need to know this week? Lots of swords. Lots of swords could have some sort of air qualities to you in your chart. Or this is someone else's energy here. Lots of swords. Overthinking. Monkey mind energy. One more card for Sagittarius, please. Magician. Okay. Aries energy could be important to you. At the bottom of the deck, more swords. More swords, Sagittarius. Five of swords here. Um, this energy is giving me the vibes of... I think this is two different energies we got here this week. The top row is representing someone, and the bottom row, I believe, is representing yourself. Right? There was someone... A person individual okay any sort of walk of life you know colleague friend love interest pet whoever it is someone was trying to play with you okay they were trying to one-up you they were trying to you know what I mean take a little off the top without you knowing five of swords some sort of um, you know unfair, unfair playing here someone not play, playing fairly but the thing is, is that this Five of Swords lately has been coming up to me as even though people try and, you know, think they're messing with us and all oh, they think they're taking, we're, they're, they're taking advantage of us and all these things, they're really not in the, in, the, in the greater scheme of things, I should say. They're not. Because, you know, what goes around comes around. We live in a sort of world where the laws are, you do as you, you get as you do. So this is coming two ways for me right now. The Five of Swords is an automatic win for you. Like there's no... Regardless of whatever you're going to win, you're going to get what it is you need, whether it's with this person, without this person's situation, you know, whatever it is, you're going to get what it is you need. No one is stopping you from getting what it is you need. So they can go ahead and play whatever games they think they're playing, but they're actually only playing with their own path, right? Anywho, Two of Swords, Queen of Pentacles in your past position. Two of Swords is an energy of not wanting to acknowledge something. Someone is deliberately... You know, you know, whether it's a decision that needs to be made that doesn't want to be made, someone doesn't want to know, make a decision when they know they need to, or they're just avoidant of something, something to do with their heart space. As you see, the swords are crossed over the heart, the blindfold, like, I don't want to see it, out of sight, out of mind. You know, although the intuition is speaking, it's not too loud yet. This could be you, this could be someone else. I have a feeling this is whoever this Five of Swords person is. You, to me, are very much in this Queen of Pentacles energy male or female it does not matter this is you minding your own business taking care of the self taking care of what matters and you know what i mean minding your business doing what you need to do for you don't really care what nobody else is doing self-focus whether you're a male or female you are in feminine energy you're not chasing anything right you're not chasing anything at all but someone else here is still playing the fool so many swords here. This complete top row with swords. Seven of swords, page of cups in your present position. Pisces energy with that page of cups. But yeah, the seven of swords is deception energy. Thinking you're getting away with shit when you aren't. Big brother's always watching, you know what I mean? 
this is also giving me omission of the truth it's like someone didn't tell you the whole story they left out the most in the most vital aspects of the story the most important parts right the parts that are most important to you in your in your dynamic leaving that out leaving that out Page of Cups is sometimes an apology. Someone could be reaching out to apologize, but it's very small. It's very small, and I don't think this it's in proportion to the apology that's needed because with all these swords here, it's telling me this person is fully aware. They're aware of whatever it is that went down here, whatever sort of game playing. Yeah, look what's underneath. Uh, Knight of Wands, playboy energy, playboy, playgirl, unreliable person. If this is not a romantic situation, someone that is not reliable. Here one minute, gone the next. You know what I mean? So they thought they were playing you, but no, they were playing themselves. For some of you where this is some sort of romantic relationship, absolutely someone was dating other people. They were entertaining other people here. Maybe trying not to, you know, even though you guys were just dating openly, no commitment, they were leaving out the part that they were also dating other people. Even though, you know, they're entitled, but they weren't telling you that. They weren't letting you know. Making it seem as if well, you were, you're, maybe you're the only one they were dating, or just not making it clear that you know they're they're dating a lot of you. They like you, but they're dating a lot of you. However it goes, male or female, some sort of small apology here that you might not even pay attention to. You might not even pay attention to, or you don't see coming. Some sort of um, out of the blue situation here. Four of Swords, Magician card, Major Arcana for Aries energy, I think right four of swords is resting meditating taking a break this is this could be what you are currently doing with the four of swords and the queen of pentacles taking a break minding your business more self energy with the uh, magician energy though magician um aries that's the house of self focus on yourself someone is like trying to figure out how they're going to go about getting back into your good graces type of energy but you're very much minding your own business focus on yourself healing meditating recovering Let's get the oracles. Sagittarius. You think it's, there's a lot going on behind your back that you don't know about. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Because the way this queen of pentacles is facing, all of it's going on behind her back. Male or female, it does not matter. And she's unbothered. But there's a lot of conniving sort of energy. So much swords. You could be definitely dealing with an air sign right i don't know or if you weren't seeing this person clearly before you're you're going to you're going to see them very clearly and that is going to encourage you to focus on yourself focus on your well-being pull back your energy your dream needs a practical plan full moon in taurus hmm very weird energy i kind of get this as this person's energy seven of swords can be strategy but with the five of swords and the seven of swords a lot of swords someone's just doing too much thinking someone's doing way too much thinking if this is not a manipulative situation because there could be two storylines for some of you someone is trying to play games but not in like a hurtful sense but what it ends up doing is hurting them because they don't need to play games they don't need to strategize. They don't need to play chess. This is just, you know, say what it is and keep it moving. Your dreams need a practical plan. This is that more of like thinking, keep like, you know, too much in the head. And it's like by the time you get it out, by the time you act on whatever it is that you're thinking about, it's like the situation's dead. Queen of Pentacles ain't even thinking about you anymore because you spent all this damn time trying to plan the whole thing out which is unrealistic one card for Sagittarius please bad spirit a rebirth is assured as I said someone wants to reach out they're seeing now that whatever plan they had ain't and it's it's not doing anything five energy energy of change change of strategy could be too realizing they need to change their strategy there needs to be no strategy ace of cups there's feelings this is what they were trying to avoid admitting to. <laughs> Two of Swords, yeah, going from a place from being able to ignore those feelings because, you know, someone was trying to be unreliable. And it's hard to be unreliable when you're emotionally attached to someone or something, right? So, 
that that whole game plan is out the door for somebody okay manifesting you back manifesting some sort of you know a different approach probably going to try to take some another approach here all right Sag, that is your reading i do hope it resonates with you thumbs me up leave me a comment if it does your romance specific reading located in the description box see you all next week